Hello and a very warm welcome to a brand new episode of Colors of India. I am your host Tina Jha with all the latest on the cultural front. Now as the festive season kicks in, this week couldn't get more exciting. So let's take a look back at how different was this week culturally. As always, the highlights first. This week we take you pandal hopping, getting you the taste of mini Bengal. Next, glimpses from the Washington DC South Asian Film Festival. And finally, some cross-cultural performances from the Delhi International Arts Festival. One of the best things about Delhi is the fact that each festival here gets its due. Be it Diwali, Eid or Janmashtami, we go all out to bring together the culture, food and festivities associated with each. And that's exactly what one can find here during Durga Puja and the Shera. So today, we take you to the hub of all the festivities during Durga Puja, the CR Park region in Delhi, where you can find one of the most colourful and beautiful Durga Puja Pandals. So let's go hopping. The cheer and joy of the festive spirit dominates all. Late nights through shopping arcades, the lights and the eager enthusiasm to just go out and celebrate. Without ignoring the strong religious theme that flows through it all. From the fasting of the Navratras on one hand, the slaying of the demon King Ravana, the victory of good over evil to Durga Puja, the homecoming of Goddess Durga or Shakti. In South Delhi, the Chitranjan Park Durga Puja Samiti regroups at this time of the year to create an occasion that is memorable and unique. In today's times, we need to remind ourselves that uh, we women shouldn't be very uh, conscious about our, our own uh, uh, complexities uh, because we, our culture doesn't allow us to feel free. Uh, but uh, we are there to take care of everybody. Uh, everybody should be very confident about women power and they should not have any ego issues around us and uh, uh, they should protect us also because we are not very uh, strong uh, but we definitely can take care of everybody everything and we respect men and any other people around us so we are we are, we are a uh, epitome of love and affection and uh, I, I think Durga is a perfect uh, 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 example of women power and and everything around and she's she's really a, uh, the best uh, idol in uh, amongst all the goddess to uh, to give everybody the to spread love and affection uh, that's what I feel and I love this festival because it's it's, it's all a women oriented festival special yeah sabse bada festival hota hai hum logo ka aur sare bengalis isme participate karte hain aur char din puja hota hai maa shashti shaptami ashtami navami aur dashera ke din हम इमर्शन यमुना में यमर्शन देते हैं Thousands of devotees turn out at more than 10 Durga Pandals in and around Delhi CR Park during the festivities. The evenings buzz with cultural programs, fireworks, traditional cuisines and more besides the religious aspect. It's time now for the ceremonial Dhanashi Aarti, also known as Dhup Aarti. To appease Goddess Durga, devotees perform Dhunachi along with the rhythmic beats of Dhak. The Dhanuchi takes the lead.
The dhup is lit placing burning coal at the bottom which ignites a layer of slow burning coconut husk on which incense is sprinkled. One of the biggest celebration of Bengali and uh, we wait for this period especially all the relatives all people who are staying far away from delhi they assemble they wait for full year to get assembled in one place to celebrate this puja and uh, especially like in uh, family pujas like barir puja we said we are celebrating this for the last 8 years and in this our quite a lot of people comes from calcutta as well and they like the homely atmosphere they get which is very rare nowadays in uh, commercial it goes quite a lot which is not there in our place and uh, in this we you know uh, approximately 200 to 250 guys they come and join with us it's a typical you can say uh, it's a typical uh, traditional puja which we celebrate it starts in the morning at 5 we people get up at 5 o'clock get prepared the things and then at 8 8:30 the puja starts and it goes till 1:30 2 o'clock and uh, in basically in this bari puja we would say the family with the during the aartis and all they come dance a lot of uh, relatives a lot of ladies now it is they have also come across duruchi nitra which we say devi people come and uh, join on that this is the first time i'm in delhi and i'm really enjoying the durga puja over here and it's a major anticipation for all bengalis and we really look forward to this festival there is a lot of um, importance towards this festival because uh, as you rightly said it's goddess of shakti so like there is a lot of uh, excitement there is a lot of um, again i can say anticipation that we look forward to and like it's it's like we wait for this festival for a long time there's a lot of um, shopping going on and people get really excited durga puja and the festive season transcend age groups and religion and region as all of india celebrates festival marks the victory of goddess durga which is celebrated with great pomp and show the modern traditions include the beautiful pandals and the artistically depicted sculptures of ma durga with all this comes happiness and merry making which marks the beginning of the festive season on this auspicious occasion i wish you all the beauty color and bliss of the festival with camera person dilip ravneen kaur for rajya sabha television every year thousands of devotees make a bee line to more than a dozen such durga puja pandals in and around cr park during the navratra festival and each year these pandals have something new to offer keeping in spirit with the festival so next year make sure you go hopping to some of these pandals on that note we we'll slip into a very short break there's much more to come on the program do stay with us on the other side an exhibition of sculptures and drawings welcome back after the break now in this segment we take you to one of the most popular south asian film festivals in north america the washington dc south asian film festival the annual event in its fourth year now showcases some of the most popular thought provoking films of the region films that have not just drawn wide accolades but also critical acclaim now narayan kamde bhale 
तुम्ही काय काम करता मी लोकशाही आहे अरे रान 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 चला कुठू सारे रान रे तुमच्यावर अतिरेके असल्याचा आरोप आहे तुमच्या नावाच अरेस्ट वॉरंट निघालं होत इट्स वन ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका मोस्ट ग्लिटरिंग अवॉर्ड सेरेमनीज द वॉशिंग्टन डी सी साऊथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल इज बोथ रेकग्निशन अँड अन ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू रीच आउट सम सिक्स लॅक साऊथ एशियन इन द यू एस ऑडियन्सेस आर ट्रीटेड टू स्पेशल स्क्रीनिंग्स discussions workshops besides the gala award ceremony film festival has been a constant source of strength for the independent filmmakers in india as well as in the united states and now it is it is a, one of the main features of the cultural calendar in washington dc as a part of the nation's capital and it also the all these artists and the filmmaker uh, promotes the social causes and which and they promote the social causes there and also the art and cinema as you know engages inspires uh, the people and the communities and connect the communities as well on the honors list this year bengali movie kadambari awarded as a best film kankana sen sharma's power packed performance won her the best actress trophy rough book won the award best story Bon Jorji was named the best short film. Kishore Kadam backed the best actor award for Parthu which was also rated as the best film by the audience. Chaitanya Tamhane who won the best director award for Coat a Hindi and Marathi film that is india's official entry to the upcoming academy awards we liu shakal tumcha harkat nahi asa gana lyala nahi record samshayaspad ahe criminal history ahe then the court should know about it na who saw it where is the proof she is going directly into the why of it ava ta amche case gyana narayan kamale wali 20 varsha dambani sampwa matter well, i've been to the dubai film festival earlier and um i visited the kolkata film festivals but this is the first time i've come to washington really far away from home but uh, honestly my sister was supposed to be here and she couldn't so she suggested my name i'm honored to be here and i think um, it's brilliant that i ca- i come from so far but i feel at home because the, the indian community here is so vast and i have i don't feel like you know i'm away from home i'm like i want to go out i want to see washington the washington dc south asian film festival is among the most celebrated events on the US showbiz calendar rising importance of the south asian community people from pakistan afghanistan bangladesh nepal and sri lanka underline its importance further it said that the real purpose of art is to display deeper symbolism that's why today we take you to a unique art exhibition that tells a deeper story of widespread apathy and discrimination that has infiltrated into our society today it's titled split distance take a look metal grill windows puncture a solid iron surface shaped like a wing Beyond the physical appearance the image is a metaphor of two different worlds the inside and the outside a demarcation of freedom and mobility yeah it's about uh, different layers of time and uh, it's about distance it's about uh, uh, like uh, migration it's about lot of things so it's basically about how time evolves into materials different layers of time evolves into material and uh, make an uh, as a work of art uh, so it uh, it started i think 2 uh, 3 years back conceptualized then slowly it start evolving it and it took i think 3 years now to materialize it The artist is Sumed Rajendran and his latest exhibition of his sculptures and drawings he explores the idea of space and materialism. 
Every work demonstrates an understanding of material and its significance in our lives. Split Distance, the name of his exhibition, delve into the idea of psychological, mental and political distance created through physical barriers, boundaries, fence and other similar pieces of architecture. I think uh, being part of the group that put up the exhibition, I, I think, uh, okay, so I think it will be nice to just see his work in terms of material quality and how, what kind of sensibility he has towards materials and uh, so he's been working with different kinds of materials, industrial material, wood and, uh, and also with drawing, so they're all uh, very nice expressions he finds with his, you know, ideas. So, yeah, and I think a lot of his drawings illustrate um, what he wants to do further in his sculpture. So it's very nice that way. Rajendran creates bold assemblages using materials like laminates, tin sheets, wood, iron lettuce, works and glass. Each piece executed with finesse. He manages to imbibe in them an expressive versatility, often in strong contrast to the brittle, sterile nature of the material itself. With his diverse style, the artist amplifies the emptiness around his sculptures, binding the feeling into the viewer's experience. We hope you like the performance. On that note, we slip into a very short break. There's much more to come on the program, so don't go anywhere. When we return, we take you to the 9th edition of the Delhi International Arts Festival. Moving on in the program now. Perhaps the most awaited event on the Delhi cultural calendar, the Delhi International Arts Festival is creating waves once again this year. Take a look at the traditional dance and music from Kyrgyzstan. That's one of the biggest highlights of the event this time. An atmosphere steeped in the rich Kyrgyz dance traditions, the essence of folk music gives out a warm, earthy flavor. This one was created by the Kiramit and Kurmangizi group specially for the Indian audience. The group has composed more than 50 such dances staged before audiences around the world. It's a wonderful country, very interesting culture. We are familiar with Indian music. So the instruments are more interested in us. We often perform там у нас на родине вашими соотечественниками, музыкантами, артистами. The Delhi International Arts Festival Diap holds up flavors of culture, art and music from around the world. This time, it was the Kiramit and Kurmangizi group with their amazing musical journey to Kyrgyzstan. The sign is sure of all eyes as they weave their magical spell. The group participates actively in international events. Today's event was really nice. I think uh, 
I prefer, really love the the entire Kyrgyz uh, performance, the including the Kerimet, the dance, uh, very graceful, very charming people. Um, I've never really known Kyrgyzstan as such as a nation, but this was a very nice introduction to the country. The kind of people there are, the kind of dance they have, the music, culture, quite interesting, very interesting for, for a first time uh, introduction to the country. The Kurmangese music group representing the Kyrgyz Republic uses the country's national musical instruments in all their performances. Ambassadors of the Cultural Realm definitely a not to be missed event so mark your dates for many such exciting and creative performances that's it from us today but do watch out this space for more such performances same time next week and until we meet take very good care of yourself it's a goodbye from the entire team